Hello, and thank you for your interest in the Medical Assistant Registered Apprenticeship Program. Uh, my name is Kelly Terpstra, and I am the Apprenticeship Success Coordinator at West Michigan Works, who is the sponsor of the Apprenticeship Program. In collaboration with our partners at Grand Rapids Community College, Mercy Health, and Spectrum Health. They are our two participating employers. Um, a few pieces about an apprenticeship program. Um, participating in an apprenticeship gives you the opportunity to earn while you learn. So partaking in this one year program gives you the opportunity to attend um, 40 hours of a cl collaboration of classroom and um, learning within the workplace. So you will be participating in working 24 hours a week with a participating employer and 16 hours will be within the classroom learning the skills of a medical assistant. Uh, the, en the ending of this program, you will receive a completion certificate from the United States Department of Labor for participating in the apprenticeship program, in addition to um, a certif certification for a medical assistant that um, Linda from GRCC will get into a little bit more detail on in a few minutes here. Um, over the course of this video, you're going to learn some specifics about um, how you will be an apprentice at each one of the organizations, as well as when you're attending the classes. Um, a couple requirements for the program, we're looking for apprentices that would be at least 18 years or older. Um, they have a high school diploma or GED and are el eligible and able to commit to a one year um, pro training program. So it is a um, big commitment, but it's a great program. Um, one other key thing is it is a free training program. So with um, some partners and sponsors and grants, we are able to offer this program free um, of charge for those that participate and are um, selected for the program. And anything, any costs that, are, um, that do come up would be very minimal to you. And uh, the employer does help to pick up any remaining um, costs as well. So we're gonna jump on into um, a little bit more about the program. First, we're gonna hear from Linda Witte at GRCC. Thanks, Kelly. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited that I have other folks that are interested in my profession, which is medical assisting. Uh, I'm the program director of the medical assistant program at GRCC, and we're excited to be a part of this registered apprenticeship program. So we have a registered apprenticeship student cohort that goes uh, through the program together. Uh, the classes meet on Tuesdays and Fridays. And so um, every Tuesday and Friday, you'll gather with your fellow students at GRCC and we'll be doing classroom learning. Uh, we're gonna be doing that um, for 10 week and eight week sections. Let me tell you about that. So the class is going to um, run for a full year. And so we bring you in, actually your learning is gonna be, it's a um, as you grow, you can implement the learning that you're doing as you grow in your skills. So you come to us and let's say that the program starts in May. And so then you're going to come and come for 10 weeks of classes on Tuesdays and Fridays. And then we're going to uh, give you a document after that 10 weeks uh, of all the skills that you've learned. And then you'll go to your employer who will uh, to your practicum site on Tuesdays and Fridays and be able to demonstrate those skills. And then you're going to come back to us for 10 weeks of learning and again go back to the employer with those skills. Um, and then we'll do that four times total for it over the course of an entire year. And so let's just say um, you'll learn at first, you'll learn a lot with communication skills. You might be able to take temperatures and weights and heights, that kind of thing. That'll be your first practicum. You can demonstrate those skills. And then um, perhaps your employer can use them in your on the job hours. And then next time you'll be able to do blood pressures. And then the following time, maybe uh, injections and maybe the fourth quarter, the final quarter, you'll be able to do blood draws. Uh, there's a lot of cool skills that medical assistants get to do and we really look forward to training you in them. Uh, our program is rigorous. You will have to study. Uh, you will have to uh, put some time and effort into mastering the material but it's really a great setup that you can then take what you're learning in the classroom and bring that to your on-the-job learning as well. Um, 
we give you some time off at the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, there's a, uh, the other thing to know about our program is that there's two phases. So phase one is the first half of the program. And so it's about the first, uh, almost six months of the program. And that's the first two quarters. So quarter one and then quarter two. And then we take a look at how you're doing. Are you meeting competency standards? Are you where you need to be? Because by that time you've learned all the foundational knowledge. And if you've mastered that, then we go on to the second part of the program into the second quarter because we're going to build on that and put things together and add complexity. So you have to have mastered uh, that foundation. Uh, so let's talk about those competency standards. Uh, the employers have advised us on those and have set those for our program. So you're measured uh, for your knowledge, your, your cognitive, what you know and what you've learned. And in all of those assessments, you need to uh, have at the end of phase one and the end of the program, you need to have a 90% or higher. Now we have a lot of learning resources at the college. We can really support you and be able to support your success. At least 90% of the students that start our programs finish it. So I don't want you to uh, hear that 90 and think, oh no, we have faith in you, we'll support you. Um, but you have to be at 90% or higher. You have to have passed all your hands-on skills. You'll have a couple of attempts to do that, but you'll have to have passed them all. And then um, you can't really miss more than 24 hours of your classroom learning time. Because it is accelerated, to miss more than 24 hours is, is means that you're missing some really critical information that's really tough to go back and, and absorb to be at a safe level in the workplace. And then finally, um, we hold workplace standards as well in the classroom. And so we expect you to be on time and we expect you to follow our dress code and our cell phone policy and to be able to treat each other with respect. And, and so if any of those things um, uh, don't happen, then we give you a point. Um, if you come in with open-toed sandals in the summer, for example, and our dress code clearly states closed-toed shoes, we would give you a point and we'd help coach you through that so that you're ready for the workplace and you're ready for your on-the-job training uh, with those skills as well. So you can't have, have earned more than six points. So again, 90%, all of your hands-on skills, um, not more than 24 hours of absence of scheduled learning days, and then also um, no more than six points. And we put all this in place so that we can help prepare you to have a wonderful career as a medical assistant. You know, a medical assistant uh, gets to do some pretty neat things. Uh, there's that administrative side where you'll be able to greet someone when they come in and ask for their insurance card and know if they'll need a second one and you'll be able to choose why they're there and choose the correct code for that. And then you'd be able to welcome them back. They typically work in a physician office or an urgent care center, some kind of a clinic, and welcome them back and get their vital signs and why are you here and what medications are you on. And then once the practitioner has seen them, you get to do all this cool, these cool skills. You can take EKGs, you can um, take blood draws, give them their vaccinations, uh, do a throat swab, uh, urinalysis, just a lot of really cool skills um, that are really important uh, to, to keep the health of our community. So we look, thank you for your interest in our program, and we would love to have you as an apprentice student. Uh, that's up to the employers who are going to talk to you next, but that's a little bit about our program and what your life would be like as our student. So I think I'll turn it over to Kelly after this. And Kelly, let me know if I missed anything that you want me to cover, okay? Thanks. That sounds great. Thank you, Linda. Um, I did just actually think of one quick thing. If you can remind um, us about the certification that they would get at the end of the program and that process and the examination they would take. Sure, thank you. Um, yes, that was on my list too, and I missed it, but <laughs> get so excited about um, <laughs> talking about MAs. Uh, anyways, so our program is accredited by the Commission on Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs. And that means that there's a variety of tests, certification exams that you can sit for. 
Um, and the one that we choose to have, uh, that our em employers actually made the choice uh, to have the graduates of our program sit for the registered medical assistant certification through American Medical Technologists. And so that is included in your training. Uh, if you would rather take a different exam, uh, say the certified medical assistant through the American Association of Medical Assistants, uh, you may do that. Uh, our program allows you to be eligible for that. Uh, but included in our program, we make the arrangements and pay the exam fee for the registered medical assistant through AMT American Medical Technologists. Again, that's what our employers um, set for our program as the certification exam. And that is a national, actually AMT, the RMA is actually international. So if you want a career, a retirement career in the Bahamas or something like that, you're all set. Your certification goes with you. Um, but uh, it is a national certification. Um, I know at least one of our partners uh, has a national network of, um, of sites. And so you could take that with you. So that's the, uh, question, the certification information. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you, Linda. All right, and now we're gonna hear from one of our employers, um, Justine at Mercy Health, to provide some information around the apprenticeship program at Mercy. Thank you, Kelly. Hi, I'm Justine Winwood. I'm a Talent Acquisition Senior Partner, and I've been recruiting for Mercy Health Physician Partners for over six years. In West Michigan, we have approximately 60 physician practices, and Mercy Health is a part of Trinity Health, the second largest Catholic healthcare organization. We have over 90,000 employees and facilities coast to coast, and Trinity Health is headquartered here in Michigan. We take 20 apprentices, 10 in Muskegon and 10 in Grand Rapids, and the program is a year in length, and you'll rotate offices, both family medicine and specialty, so you can experience both. You'll have the support of your career coaches, preceptors, educators, and colleagues as you move through the apprenticeship. And when you graduate, I'll help you to find your new medical assistant position in the organization. These are part-time benefit eligible positions with medical, dental, vision, and 403B options available to you. You'll work 24 hours a week as a paid apprentice, and the rest of the time is spent learning. While you do accrue paid time off, this is an intense program and PTO will be limited. And we also recommend that you do not hold additional employment while going through the apprenticeship program. Before committing to the apprenticeship, we ask that you think about your support at home and what you'll need to be successful to complete the program. We're excited to have you. Thanks so much. Awesome. Kelly? Thank you, Just Thank you Justine. All right, and now we are going to hear from uh, Tatiana at Spectrum Health to hear a little bit about the program um, at Spectrum. Thank you, Tatiana. And uh, the last piece of our um, presentation is going to hear from Angela, who is our training consultant with West Michigan Works, and she's going to provide some next step information. If you are interested in getting started with the program, uh, she will give you the information you need to know. Angela? Thanks, Kelly. Uh, I'm Angela Johnson, and I'm the Regional Training Consultant here at West Michigan Works. And I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of what your next steps are. So after you view this video, um, the first thing you're going to do is complete a short survey. So that just enables us to capture some data and get some information from you. And then what's going to be very important is then we will be sending you a follow-up email. So please be sure to be checking your email account. Uh, that will be providing you with a link to our new LMS system. So for this particular cohort, we are going to be rolling out uh, a new learning management system called Tavuti. So uh, now that we are all just trying to transition to an online platform, Tavuti is going to be a new system that is going to have all of your steps, uh, all of the things that we need to do to get you prepared for this great apprenticeship program for an MA. So uh, the first thing that you're going to really see is some informational videos that's going to give you some additional details on the program itself. And then really the key piece is going to be your career portfolio. So for the career portfolio, that's going to really entail a lot of career readiness. So this will include resume, cover letter, um, interviewing skills to really get you prepped for that. And then uh, one thing to, to keep in mind is that there will be assessments that are required for this apprenticeship program. So that will be including a typing assessment, 
in computer proficiency badges. This is just to kind of prepare you for this and to just make sure that we're measuring all of those skill sets and to ensure that you can be ready for this type of program. Another thing to also consider is that depending upon which program that you choose to go through. So if you are choosing to go through MCC, they do require AccuPlacer. And then if you choose GRCC, they do require work keys. So uh, we will have West Michigan Work staff that is going to be able to assist you right from the beginning all the way to the end. So when you are going to be scheduling those assessments, uh, we can give you um, study guides, different links, um, different ways that you can really prepare yourself for that type of assessment. And then um, towards the end of that process, uh, we will have career coaches that will be assigned to you and really use those career coaches. They are there to support you to answer any questions, concerns that you might have through this process. Uh, we're very, very excited about this and um, we hope to see you all soon. Thank you.